Hey cutie please, it's the one and only Sweet Pea here and if you're new here, I'm gonna need you to subscribe, to like, to comment, tell me hello first, um, and make sure you share this video with any and everybody. Yes, I'm having another wild hair day, but it is what it is. Um, we have some cranberry juice, we have my favorite Frank's Red Hot, ugh, this damn light. Uh, you can't see it, but you see this big ass bottle. We have some sweet and spicy Tabasco and we have some habanero Tabasco. Um, today we'll be eating some crab ragoon, which are these beautiful, if I can get my chopsticks right, wontons. Oh, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> Let me hold this shit right. Yeah. Let me get a cute one. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. <sighs> and we have some hot and spicy um, shrimp Nissen um, ramen. So. Let me show you guys this. I have my camera facing, well, my phone facing a different way today. Um, so let's see how this works. I'm tired of guessing where the hell my head is, if you guys can see me or not. So I'm just all here with it. Um, this is some chili sauce that goes in here. Hopefully this is done because I'm hungry. It's almost 11 o'clock this morning. And yeah, I'm eating this. So how was you guys weekend? Happy Monday um, to everybody. Even if you have to go to work today, it's still a glorious day. And that's sort of kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today anyway. Because I spent so much of my time, or I spend so much of my time complaining and feeling down. Um, I do suffer from um, PTSD <clears throat> and with that comes a lot of different um, things, mood swings, depression, um, yada, yada, yada. And a lot of the times I spend most of my days like really, really downtrodden and depressed and second guessing different things. And you know what? I can't I can't keep doing that to myself because I'm just gonna drive myself crazy um, I'm never gonna have you know a fruitful life the way that I, I want to have my life and you can't just you just can't do that to yourself I mean right now I'm at a place in my life where I can say that but you know it's not as easy you know as you think Easier said than done. Cheers. Mm. 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 I don't know if I mixed the chili sauce all the way in, but... It's not bad. Move my hands down. I got little baby hands. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. I like the shrimp flavor. I have to keep remembering to move my finger back because my nails are kind of long and it um, always makes me mess up with my chopsticks. If you guys saw my last ramen video, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to use this as a little plate because I want to try these with these different sauces. Um, so first we'll try a plain one. Ooh, ooh, that's hot.
<laughs> Don't judge me. Okay. Ooh. Mm. And this is called Crab Ragoon or Rangoon. And it's like um, a mix of crab and fish. With some um, cream cheese, a little bit of eggs, and it's um, wrapped in a wonton. If I could pick this shit up, there we go. So, not bad but I don't think this is going with all this cream cheese in here it's not going to taste good with um the sweet and spicy Tabasco so we're going to nix that these things are decadent it tastes more like a savory dessert than it does an appetizer. Kind of throwing me for a loop. Mm. Okay. Let's try it with some um, Red Hot. Yeah, so I've just been thinking about my life. I mean, I'm never going to have the things that I want if I keep, one, doubting myself, two, being, you know, pessimistic and not fully allowing myself to, you know, meet my own potential. You are your own, your number one critic and your number one fan. So you can be the best or worst enemy to your own self. And I'm trying to be the best person that I can be to myself, for myself, so that I can achieve everything it is that I want. Mainly with, um, you know, my business and stuff like that. Love life, I have to be secondary for the, for the present moment. Oh, it's starting to get hot. <laughs> I feel it in my, all in my chest. It's like heartburn almost. I mean, do I want a significant other? Yes. Do I want children? Yes. Do I want the whole two and a half kids, white picket fence? Hell yeah. But dating nowadays is like for the birds. And I really, it really, really grinds my gears. When you have, I don't know if some of you have had this happen to you, but some of your friends is, oh, well, you need to do this, or you need to do that, or you need, you need, you need. Don't tell me what the fuck I need. Like, that shit is annoying.
But at the end of the day, I know most of the time or some of the time they're really just looking out for me. But I just can't stand that because nobody's relationship is perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. And until you have scores of 100 throughout everything it is that you got going on or that you're doing or that you've been through in the past, and then you really shouldn't tell people what they need to do, especially if you're not a therapist. And even then, don't tell people what they need to do. If you want to make suggestions, that's fine. I'm still not going to listen because at the end of the day, I was getting, you know, talking, trying to talk to my friends about, you know, issues and things that I was having or problems with, you know, guys and things like that. And it's, oh, you need to, you need to, you need to. And sometimes it's like, I don't want you, or I don't need you to tell me what I need to do. I just want you to shut the fuck up and listen. Okay? Like, sometimes people just need to talk. Sometimes people just need to vent. And by you putting your two cents in all the time, especially when your two cents is not asked for and it's just given, then that just, especially with somebody like me, I overanalyze every single thing in my life. And that makes me overanalyze that as well. So I was like, oh, do I really need to do this? Do I really need to do that? And oh, well, maybe I shouldn't talk to this person or maybe I shouldn't do that. Or, you know, and it drives me freaking crazy. So it's just like, stop. And that was another thing, another hurdle I needed to get over because it was not helpful at all. Like, just thinking about, oh, well, you know, you need to do this, or this is who you should be looking out for, or, you shouldn't be talking to this person, or you should talk to this person, or you should feel this way, and it's, it's too many of my own thoughts that I have going on for other added thoughts to be rummaging through my brain. And like I said, you know, this is nothing against my friends, it's just that you know, I had to sit back and think about what I wanted for myself, what I needed for myself, and all the extra <laughs> is not helping. Because most of the time, the people that are telling you to do that are in relationships. They are married, but it's like... I look at your situation and I don't need that either. And I'm simply just saying that what you found for yourself, meaning other people, is not meant, oh damn that's hot, it's not meant for everybody. It's not meant, it wasn't meant for me, you know to be in the relationships that I was in in the past now it wasn't meant for me to have children back then and it's probably not meant for me right now at this very second but I'm okay with that I'm okay with being single I'm okay with working on myself and getting myself where I need to be so that I can be okay, so that I can be in a healthy relationship. And that's what people should be worried about is, you know, is my friend in the best mental capacity to be with somebody or to have a child or to, you know, make sure that her business is, you know, going well or, you know, things like that. That's what I need. Is genuine concern for me and not what I need to do. Hmm. This is cheesy.
That shit burning my lips. Damn habanero sauce. But I'm thankful for everyone that does give me a shoulder. Sometimes I don't want to be a burden or a bother. But sometimes I just need somebody to listen to me. And I think that's why I do this. I just want to be heard. Sometimes you feel invisible. Or you get lost in a sea of people, a room full of people. And you just feel displaced. And I feel like that most of the time. I mean, if you knew me, then you would know, you know, I can be very outgoing. I can be very introverted. I can be very standoffish. Um, you know, it all really depends on who I'm around, how comfortable I am, and how the scene is set. I've had panic attacks before. That's not fun. So I definitely really have to be comfortable with you. Damn, how my soup get cool that fast? Mm. It was all right. And all that. This ain't my favorite meal. I just had to sit back and think and yesterday I was just like, damn. Like, I've been running around complaining, whining, crying. And I know it's mainly the depression and, you know, everything it is that's going on. But it's like, I'm super blessed. Whether I have a Canon 650 or whatever the fuck it's called. A great big studio. Huge studio lights. A million subscribers. Eight kids. And a husband. I still have a roof over my head. I have my health. Uh, maybe single, but I still have friends that, you know, friends and family that are very supportive of me and that love me very much. Um, some of whom, not all, <laughs> but some of whom um, will just listen and not always, you know, want to have a banter about everything. And, you know, I'm by far not the richest, <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't want for anything and when you have those things you know especially the use and mobility of you know your limbs because I could be stuck in a wheelchair you know I could be deaf dumb blind you know I could have a debilitating disease um, physical um, because mental illness is a debilitating disease but you know I don't and I'm okay I'm fine and for once in my life I can actually say that and mean it and it feels good and we're coming up on the 20 minute mark I know I didn't eat all of this food <laughs> I'm not even hungry no more I really don't even like it all that much but I wanted to try it um, I'll save the rest of these for my sister since she's been begging for this damn crab ragoon but um Love yourself, first and foremost. I don't care if you are married. I don't care if you do have a bunch of kids. You can't go far in life without loving and believing in yourself, no matter what anybody says to you, no matter how much encouragement they give you, how many times they tell you what you need to do, what you should do, or if they're supporting you. It all starts, begins, ends with you. So do daily mantras if you have to read spiritual books if you have to or watch spiritual movies or listen to spiritual programs or talk to a therapist I see a therapist um I need to go back <laughs> but um you know or journal those are things that have helped me and um hopefully they'll help you too if you're going through the same things um 
that I was. And even if you're not, and you know, everybody goes through something, everybody has a chip on their shoulder about something or depressed about something, something, you know, everybody goes through um, life in different ways and cope with different things um, in different ways. So just make sure that you love you first and everything else will fall into place. So thank you guys for watching me and my wild hair. That hurt. <laughs> for watching me and my wild hair. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Send all topic and food suggestions to it's sweet pea. 87 at gmail.com make sure that you follow me on instagram at its underscore s w e e t p you can also follow my other um channel and instagram that all be linked at the um on the other channel and you'll find those buttons somewhere before click them all <laughs> and make sure you subscribe like share to everybody um and i will catch you guys in the next one don't forget to leave me a comment I love reading them all. Peace. Oh, and um, speaking of love yourself, I don't even have 30 subscribers on this channel and I already got haters. Like who in the hell is thumbs and down <laughs> my videos? But thank you. Um, for um giving me uh the views whether you liked my video or not keep thumbs and down make sure that you subscribe so that you can stick around while you're thumbs and down um and turn on your notifications love that um just don't leave any negative or derogatory comments and we're all good so haters at 29 subscribers go figure <laughs> peace <laughs>